Hey everyone, it's Erin, back to do another unboxing. Uh, this unboxing is for Jubilee, which is a stationery and gift wrapping box. So before we start, or before those who are into stationery or gift wrap, go, ah, done, and, and click off this page. Um, I have to tell you that this box had a profound impact on me, and it was a box that I was not looking forward to. So long story short, I have been on a little bit of a Debbie Downer vibe. Um, there's just some transitions going on in my life that have kind of gotten the better of me. I've been a little bit um, grumpy and unsure of certain things. So it's just been a little bit difficult and I was letting it control everything I was thinking about. And when I say control everything I was thinking about, I mean, I was just grumpy. I was feeling defensive and feeling, oh, I don't know, just out of sorts. Okay, so this box has been sitting here for a couple months, or a couple months, a couple days, and I was a little bit dreading opening it because I'm not a gifty, crafty person. I don't scrapbook. Um, I don't wrap gifts. I plop gifts into a gift bag with some tissue paper. I don't do the things that would typically be in a gift and gift wrap and stationary box. So because of my foul mood, I just was dreading it. Like I don't, I don't want to really have to open something and then not find the excitement in it. But anyway, because this is what we're all about and I have to open boxes and unbox them, I did it. So, opened it up and first thing I saw, which was on top, and there was a bunch of little like tissuey type paper in there, were these like fruity gummy candies, which my immediate reaction was, ugh, really? These candies, I don't like fruity gummy candy, except for Swedish fish. Swedish fish, don't ever hate on a Swedish fish. But anyway, um, so I immediately just went into this like, oh, yuck, not gonna like this. So um, I did try one and I tried the watermelon flavor and yeah, still don't like gummy candy. But there's the, my, my son saw these on the table and was like, can I have one, can I have one? And I said, no, not until we've unboxed for the society. So he can have those tonight. Okay. And then there were, well, the first thing I saw, which were in a little bag, which did excite me. And I thought, oh, cute. That's fun. Are three pencils in very springy colors that have my name printed on them, which is super cool. I love my name printed on pencils. That way I know they're mine. Um, then and I'm doing this in order because I want to save these profound ones for last. Okay. Everything was in a very spring vibe which is good because we're going into spring these are wrapping paper very pretty i like them don't know if i'll ever wrap something with them but my daughter will she's super crafty she loves making crafts in fact she's been making this like slime stuff all weekend and it's disgusting and she keeps saying mom touch it touch it and it's nasty um okay then on the whole birthday Theme. There are these cards in there, birthday cards that you just fold them. There's envelopes too. And you have birthday cards. This is good because I don't buy birthday cards. I don't buy Christmas cards. I don't buy Valentine's cards. I don't buy cards, period. I think it's the biggest waste of money. My husband like lines them up and wants to see them. I think it's annoying and it takes away from my other beautiful decor. Anyway, birthday cards. So these are good because I do keep in the house that I get from, I think, Target, like this thing of, of cards with envelopes. And so every time my kids go to a birthday party, they just write on one of those. And now we have these. Okay, um, there is this, which is a calendar. Well, not a calendar. It's a birthday celebrations list. And it goes through each month with the days of the month. And you can write down people's birthdays. I'll be totally honest, and this is so obsolete. If my phone doesn't beep, I'm not knowing it's your birthday. Okay? But anyway, nonetheless, it's a good thing to have as a visual to be able to look and plan. And I'm not huge with my phone. Like, I'm not very good at putting everything in. 
Okay, and then there were um, these stickers, which I'm going to find real quick. I should have put this all back in in my, my order, but this is how we roll at the society. Okay, there are these stickers, and they're just birthday stickers that you can put like on the back of the envelope to seal it. Right, moving right along, there are these little file folders, which again, very springy, very cute. I will, I will use them for something because all the folders that I use right now are folders that have my kids' old stuff, like from homework and stuff that they would use that is all scribbled all over. So these are just for me. And the, oh, I already said the thank you notes, didn't I? Okay, and then there is this weekly pad of paper that has um, the week, which you can put, and then has Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, blah, blah, blah. So you can just have, this will actually be good for me because I'm very, I need to write, like I, I like writing things with a pen, very, like I like that tactical feeling. And so I'm a doodler. And if I have to do something, I had a friend who just recently was like, how come you have notes everywhere, like on every pad of paper you have? I'm a doodler. I like to write stuff down. This will be awesome. I'm going to use this. Totally use this. Um, and then more note cards, which just say just a note in very springy colors. And then it's just blank inside. So you can write a nice note. So I know what you're all saying, like who writes notes anymore? I'm going to tell you, this is for real what happened last week. My best friend growing up, who just, my, my childhood and teens, she's in every single part of it. We were so close and um, we still are, but we live in different states and we have families and you know, it's life. I received in the mail from her, well, let me just even tell you this. So I was inside and my daughter came in handed me an envelope from the mailbox and said, Mom, you got a letter from my friend. And um, my initial reaction was something that's got to be wrong because I received a letter in the mail. And then I thought, no, she wouldn't write a letter, letter to tell me something was wrong. So then I thought, oh, well, she's probably moved. It's probably a change of address. Anyway, I opened it and inside was a card that she hand wrote, she hand wrote me a letter and it was the most endearing, it, it was, it was awesome. It, I, I, I encourage you guys, I'm going to write her back in one of these, but I encourage you guys, write a letter and just mail it to somebody. It, you would be surprised the impact that it has. It was so amazing. It felt so good. It brought back so many memories and, um, I'm going to do, I mean, it just, it makes a difference. It makes a difference in someone's life. So, all right. So I told you I was on that, um, wow, wow train and, you know, oh, I don't know what I'm doing and, oh, I, what should I do with this? And life's so hard and why can't it be easy? And why not this? And why not that? And I was just grumpy and I was, in fact, I was telling you how I had this box. I have a friend who she, when I told her that I have this box I have to open, and she, her response was, well, don't open it today because you're crabby. And I was. I was just, nothing was just gelling. Nothing was fitting together, and there's just all these loose ends. There still are, but because of Jubilee, I kind of worked it out. Anyway, um, so I just was in this place of feeling defensive and feeling like the decisions that I was making for myself, I was needing to qualify and um, that, that I don't know, it was just strange. It was a strange thing I was going through for a couple weeks. So I opened this box and I was still in the mood. I had not gone out of my funk, go through all this. And in there are these reminders of life is good. You're just not looking at the right things in life. Yes, life gets messy. Yes, we have to make decisions. Yes, things get hard. Yes, bad stuff happens. This little journal, I'm a journaler, I journal. Things that make you smile. I am going to be writing the things that make me smile in this. And this will be a reminder that I will keep in my drawer so that on those days that are they're going to happen. But 
it's a reminder. It'll just, it'll like say, okay, yeah, all that sucks, but look at all these things. Very cool. Next, it's the little things. So yeah, I've got some big crap going on right now in my life, but it was totally taking over me paying attention to the, the little things. There's so many wonderful little things happening in my life every single day that I was not grateful for at all. I was ignoring them. I wasn't even, wasn't even ignoring them. I just wasn't even paying attention to them. This journal, writing in it, it's the little things. I am going to pay attention to little things and I'm going to write them down. Have you guys seen that thing where people take a jar and then every day they put something in it and then at the end of the year, like they look back? That's kind of cool. It's like that. Um, a list. A pad of paper that has a list that say, today is going to be a good day. And then you write why. So it's going to be a to-do list for me. And again, I love writing things and looking at them. But it's going to be a good day because of these things. Again, like, what are you going to focus on today? Instead of waking up and saying, well, here's the shit I have to do today. It's going to be, today's going to be a good day because totally changing my perspective on it. And then this is another pad of paper that will come in handy because it says, remember this. So I don't think these are sticky. It'd be cool if they were, but I have tape. Um, remember this. So, you know, it, it's what you're thinking about. It's what you're making conscious in your choices and your decisions and your awareness. It's all about the things that you need to remember. So yeah, even though A happened, which really sucks, and it could screw up this and blah, blah, blah. Remember this though, right? There's always the other side. What is that? The law of nature. For every action, there is an equal or greater reaction. That's, that's the remember this. So even though, yeah, that happened, guess what's going to happen? And finally... The Mother. This is a coloring book. The Zen Garden. No joke. Full. Full. And let me just tell you, there are 31 stress relieving designs. Zen Garden. I so needed to be in my Zen Garden and it showed up in a Jubilee box for God's sakes. Like, this is so perfect. Um, Let's see, it's illustrated by Trina Dalziel. It is an artist's coloring book. These designs are super cool, super pretty. Um, I know I have colored pencils somewhere. So the back of this is renew mind and spirit as you follow the path to calm and creativity. And then it goes into some other stuff. But the whole point of this is I... I was struggling and I was, I was being grumpy and, and I was allowing some things that I didn't necessarily have control over or that I did have control over. I was letting the things that had a negative spin to them, potentially, I mean, I don't even know if they really do, um, dictate and determine my mood and dictate and determine what was going to happen to me and dictate and determine how my day was going to go. And I needed a big old fat smack of reality to say, you need to be grateful for what you have. You need to find the joy. You need to find the peace. And you need to be happy. I mean, what the F, girl? Right? I mean, I, I should be grateful for things. And I couldn't see them because I was so burdened by bullshit. Okay? This came as a huge wake-up call that you're the only one who's putting yourself in this place. So you either pull your big girl panties up and get back on board with moving forward, or you sit there and you wallow and you complain and you think, woe is me and my life is so hard and whatever nonsense I had going through my mind. And I'm, I'm doing that. I needed this. So who knew that such a profound message was going to come to me in a Jubilee box? I'm a huge believer that things happen for a reason. Um, 
I don't know what they call it, karma, uh, cosmic intervention. I have no idea, but I believe in it. Um, I think things happen for a reason. I think that I waited on this for those few days, looking at it every day, and then opened it, and this was here for a reason. Now, do I think that, like, some sort of cosmic god <laughs> said, oh, Erin in this town at this address really needs to have her, you know, mojo reworked. I don't think that, but I do think that because of the place I was and because of my mindset and my attitude that was a bad attitude, I did need something that was going to sort of shake me out of it. And this did it. So who knew? A stationary box that I was dreading actually turned my whole mindset around. I know I'll have bad days again, but this reminded me I need to be good to myself. I need to be good to the people around me. And I, for one, love that I got the message in a subscription box. Rock on! Anyway, uh, so this is it. It's, it's Jubilee. It's a quarterly subscription, $29.99 per quarter. And this is over $60 worth of product that you receive. I, I think that you should make sure when you're subscribing to things that there are things that make you happy that there are things that you enjoy, that there are things that you're going to find value in. But I also want to say be open to new things and open to the messages that may come with them. Anyway, I hope you're all having a great day. I hope you're going to have a great week. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. And I'll see you soon. Bye!